Hey guys, Tyler here. So here we are again with another guide and again on how to play Steam VR games on the Oculus Quest. Yes, we already made a guide like two days ago, but this time there's the catch. Well, the software is completely free. It's called ALVR and it plays really, really well. So in this video, you're gonna see how to use our standalone headset, the Oculus Quest. Yeah, yes, you can play games by itself without the PC. But if you want to take out the best, well, sometime you want to play just the big games like Onward, Pamflov, the, by the way, it's going to arrive there too, uh, Elite Dangerous, Assetto Corsa, all the simulators out there and even more using that thing over there. So without further ado, let's see how to do it this time for free. It's super easy, so don't expect a very long video. Let's do it. Okay, so here we are on the PC and the first thing I want to do is actually to make it very, very clear. This is not going to install your Steam VR games on the Oculus Quest. This is going to stream your games from the PC to the Oculus Quest. So you still need a PC able to run Steam VR games and of course you need your Oculus Quest. So we need those two things. And also you need to prepare your Oculus Quest to sideload apps on it. I made a video, it's gonna be up there with the guide so you can follow that and completely unlock your Oculus Quest with everything. And if you have any question, let me know in the comment below and everything is gonna be also in the description. So don't worry about that. When the Oculus Quest is ready, well, we go to these easy steps. So first thing to do is to go, of course, to the ALVR website and to download the last beta al alpha, actually, because we are still in an alpha uh, moment, but it's very, very good. It works already very well and also use already the touch controller render model uh, in there that is very very nice so what we have to do is to download before the server part that can be or the portable or the setup depends if you want to install it on the pc or not i'm gonna use the portable right now so we're gonna see it together but you can just install the xa and it's completely fine and safe and of course we're gonna need the apk over here to install on directly on the oculus quest to say load it over there now what we have to do is of course to open the folder that with the stuff we just unloaded and we extract the portable version and at the same time uh, it's better to rename the apk just alvr just to make it very very easy at the point what we have to do is just copy it in our adb folder where we have all our stuff over there i already have it there so uh, it's gonna replace it and it is gonna be here now next step of course very easy and straight up forward is the thing that we always do we connect the cable to the oculus quest because we have to transfer the apk over there what we have to do is to go on command prompt like we always do uh, let me put it over here do adb devices so we recognize over here the oculus quest then we copy the address of our adb folder we do cd and that so we're sure to be in the adb folder and then adb install and the name of uh, our application that we called alvr.apk we press and enter and now it's going to fail because i already installed it and here we are exactly and you have it directly on your oculus quest now i always suggest after side loading stuff to just restart the oculus quest mine is already installed so i'm not gonna restart right now and let's see together what to do inside here as well but before let's go to the program that we actually downloaded that is the server that we need to run so let's go in there and we click on alvr now this is our application we have the server part that is going to find the headset when we're going to start the app let's take it out uh, gonna start the app on the oculus quest and then we have the video with all the different options we can use it with different codecs the h264 h265 really depends on you which one do you prefer i'm using the 264 by the way the bitrate can be higher and lower 30 is suggested but really depends on how 
fast is your router because if it's not fast enough well it's better to drop it a little uh, and 20 you still have good quality by the way so don't worry here resolution higher you go of course more bandwidth you're gonna need from the router i keep it 100 percent but if you can go a little higher without latency go a little higher of course the native resolution of the panel is close to the 150 percent so uh, take that in consideration and the buffer size is same thing it helps with the latency to bring it up but of course it creates some distortion and stuff so it's better to just don't mess up too much with that you have the controllers if you want to enable the controllers because of course you're going to have both the controllers with 60 of so the entire movement exactly like with the regular oculus quest then the sound if you disable you're gonna like get some less latency there too so you we don't use too much of the bandwidth other fake blah 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 it's better to just don't touch it and we have on debug well it's written there don't touch it don't touch this panel at all in about well here we have all the information but what we have to do if it's not installed we have to install the driver we just click on that it's going to install the driver directly and we are pretty much set Again, these are the configuration that I am using, but of course, it really depends on you. Uh, you can play a little with those. So let's get now in the quest and let's see what happens. Okay, so here on the quest, what we have to do is to go on navigate, of course, the library. And then in the library, we go on unknown sources and we look for ALVR. We click on it and this is what we are gonna see right away in our Oculus Quest. And as you can see on the screen over here, now we are able to connect it and it's actually recognized. Of course, we need to be on the same connection on the PC and over here. And a good suggestion is also to have the PC connected via Ethernet. So uh, the connection there is gonna be much faster and the latency is gonna be even less. We click on connect and here we are is recognized the only thing we have to do now is to start the server and if we have of course team vr installed everything is gonna start automatically so we get inside and as you can see we are already in our steam vr environment with our two controllers over here that are the old model of the oculus touch we also have our fps vr over there people said that i didn't want to show it well it's there and yeah everything works very well and what you're seeing right now is exactly what i'm seeing the oculus quest i'm not recording from the pc i'm recording from what you guys are seeing on the oculus quest and that's just amazing this is like working with pretty much no latency and you can see that also from over here Try to keep the latency under 60 milliseconds. If it goes a little higher, it's not really a problem, but lower it is, better the experience is gonna be. Okay, here we are in contractors. As you can see, everything here is running at 72 FPS, so 72 Hz, that is the Hz that we have on the Oculus Quest. So it's locked on that. And well, uh, we're sitting now, but yeah. This is the graphic that you're gonna see inside the Oculus Quest and is not bad at all. Like, look at that. I can see through the scope without any problem and I can play actually a complete game without any problem in here. As you can see, we have our knife, we have our little gun. Look at that. And yeah all directly on the oculus quest and that's just amazing now another thing that can might happen is that some games are not gonna recognize the controllers because it's still a beta of course actually an alpha and in that case what you have to do is to go on settings and you go on controller bindings and you select like your game and then from here you can just change everything for your uh, touch controller so you go on edit and you can change every single button that you want as you want and fix it for every game then you can also save it as a personal binding so you don't have to do it again every time 
but I'm pretty sure that very soon in the future this app is gonna update and everything is gonna start to run even better and without even have to tweak it. And I have to say that I'm blown away. It's just amazing how it's running on the Oculus Quest right now. Okay, and here we have it guys. And as you can see, we have a lot of different options here as on the other program, but here even more. And that's very interesting because open a lot of more possibilities and the fact that you can actually lower down resolution, bitrate and stuff like that make it more affordable for more people and actually as, as a result the image is cleaner now this is completely free so you don't have to worry about anything you can just install it or use the portable version so you don't even have to install anything on your pc and just to start to run your games in there is the mind blowing what are we able to do with this little guy over here and we are just like three, four days after release, like a week after release, imagine what we're gonna be able to do in the future, being this still a beta, and how just this application is gonna evolve then. I'm very excited, and to be honest, I think that is a great way to experience VR and to get to even better games. Also, if you want to play Oculus Rift games, well, you can always use Revive. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below. It's like a dashboard that you add to Steam VR that then you can run Oculus games in there from the Oculus Home. And that's actually funny because to run Oculus games on an Oculus product, we actually have to hack them, but hey, uh, that's how it is right now. But anyway, guys, let me know in the comment below what you think about it. Are you gonna use it? This is free, so uh, there's nothing is gonna stop you to do so. And I think that this is a great way to see, again, the potential of this headset and the potential of this screen, because this has one of the best screens on the market out there right now. It's a 1440 by 1600. And we're gonna see very soon in a True Lenses video also the quality of this screen compared to the Oculus Rift S and the Oculus Go. So subscribe for that because that is gonna arrive very, very soon. But for now, guys, let's enjoy our Steam VR games on the Oculus Quest once more. And as always, if you liked the video, like. If you didn't like the video, dislike. Subscribe to the channel for more about VR tech and I see you guys next video. Thanks for watching. Ciao. And just a little note, all the gameplays that you saw right now in this video is actually recorded on the Oculus Quest because I wanted to show like all the problems, the glitches that you can have out there and the latency that you have during the gameplays and stuff like that. And as you can see, it's very, very clean and it's actually very, very usable. So thumbs up for that, for sure. Again, ciao.